Go, Benny. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Lord of the Rings meets Mad Max yeah. meets the Bible. Mm. That's yeah. kind of the inspiration for everything. Over the weekend, Sydney band Battlesnake played a mind-melting set at the Gumball Festival. We sat down with guitarist Ben Frank and Paul Mason to chat about their journey as a band so far. I started off by asking how Battlesnake came to be. So, one of the members of the band, Dan, and I was sitting at um, Frankie's Pizza one night and this band came on and it had this massive sound. And we thought, well actually Dan thought, we could do this better. Yeah. And then he said, what about a, guitar, a three guitar rock band with me, guitar, me Dan and Paul? Yeah. Um, and at that moment I said this light bulb moment and it was like, wow, that is, <laughs> that is what it is. That's the thing. Yeah. And yeah. Then we just ran with that. And then it was kind of like uh, all the music that we listened to as kids mm. and growing up and we were just trying to do that and yeah. like make it as larger, bigger and larger than life as possible. And mm. it was... Yeah, make it more is more, make it as crazy as possible. Yeah, yeah. We we all kind of have come up in the professional worlds. Um, we've all worked as as like session musos and played guitar. And uh, like I was with Jessica Malboy for like over ten years, and I've done a whole bunch of other stuff. But that was how the genesis of the band sort of started. It was it was like we we yeah. wanted to kind of form a band with three guitar players, and and we all grew up together playing guitar together and stuff. Like so, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. We're really lucky. We're exactly. lucky. We're first and foremost. We're all really. Cl- we're like a close little family, you know. Yeah. It's cool. Go, Benny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lord of the Rings meets Mad Max yeah. meets the Bible. Hmm. That's yeah. kind of the inspiration for everything. And is it your own law? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of influence from from our favorite um, like fantasy worlds mm. and stuff. Yeah. So. A lot of the, the the world building that goes into that is is influenced by the the stuff that we, you know, as as kids and also as adults, mm-hmm. use for our own escapism. You know. Yeah. And the you know the guys and I have like sort of created this. Own, Thanks, brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, yeah, and we, we've sort of managed to create this like little universe that that um, the, the band kind of exists in now. You know, so it's mm. it's cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good time. Yeah. Um, so I'd love to know, uh, you supported KISS, which is pretty bloody crazy. Did you get any advice from the legends or were there any crazy moments behind well, the scenes? Well, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I was walking past um, Tommy Thayer's tech as he was getting the firework guitar. He was kind of prepping it. Yeah. And I was like, is that really good? Because I hadn't, I mean, obviously everyone knows KISS. I hadn't <laughs> seen them live before. You know, you, you know they're like... Mm. For some people, if you haven't really seen what they do, it's in my mind it was like I didn't realize how freaking insane it was. You know they were, but I I didn't get any advice. But like I I, I um walked past Tommy Thayer a couple of times and and I came out. He they saw a bunch of our set and I came out and saw him in full costume and he was like, yeah man, like fully to me was like fucking yeah. And I That's was like wild. I was like my man you know yeah. so that was freaking <laughs> awesome and Elliot got to meet our bass player um, totally had a little conversation with Gene I saw that happen I was like you just talked to no Gene way. Simmons that's amazing <laughs> you know that's crazy so that was cool yeah, then, yeah, did, um, yeah no, no advice as such we sort of yeah they kind of uh, yeah they kind of kept themselves yeah a lot yeah. through yeah. Um, I know Samuel our singer he got a uh, he got a photo with Paul Stanley so that's cool. Very sweaty a after very gig sweaty photo. After it was great. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then what's the drummer's name again? Um, um, oh god. Uh, Peter. Eric, Ki- K- no, Eric he, Singer. Eric Singer. He. I've, Eric, I had, Singer. It's Eric, Eric Singer. Eric Singer. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I had a quick chat with him because because I play the the red Brian May guitar and so he he kind of like noticed that and he was like, yeah. oh, do you know Greg Fryer, this Australian guy? And he we kind of had a bit of a weird esoteric chat about the. You know the nerddom of the Brian May guitar. Yeah. We we got to meet Justin Hawkins the other week as well. That was really cool. Wow. I talked I talked to him about Jeff Beck heaps. Yeah, yeah. Because I love Jeff Beck and so does he. And he has a podcast episode about Jeff Beck. So I, I was like a bit drunk and I talked to him about that. That was really cool. Nice. Anyway. Yeah, that's so. Justin sick. Hawkins. He's he's a he's a he's a very he's a very debonair. He's a gentleman. You know. Yes. Very very nice cool guy. Obviously, you love what you play, right? But we don't really see that much guitar music around these days, especially not like 
triple guitar solos and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, what do you love about getting to keep that alive and be innovative with it at the same time? I think I like the challenge of having such an old, like an old style of like old rock and roll, you know, and I like the challenge. Old of tro- school, old school, old yeah, school. yeah, like a rock and roll guitar. It's it's been done for fifty years. Yeah, I really enjoy the challenge of trying to write the parts and stuff in a way that makes it sound fresh. Yeah, um, and can create excitement mm-hmm. and is evocative and like mm-hmm. dramatic um yeah there's you know you listen to like all those queen guitar harmony yep. or guitar orchestra mm-hmm. stuff and that's kind of a lot of that is where we draw inspiration from and yeah trying to yeah basically, basically just trying to make it sound fresh and yeah. um and and iconic you know yeah. i mean a, a huge part of it is 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 the other guitar player dan mm-hmm. um he He's just like a crazy. His mind is amazing. Like yeah. his his mind for music is amazing. So Ben, I mean, obviously, you know, Ben and I bring what we bring to it. You know, Ben's amazing at, at what you know at what he does. We both have our own thing, but with the in particular with respect to the harmonising of the solos, um, often for some of them, I'll come up with like the main part, and then we we just tell Dan go and make it a make go and make it iconic amazing. <laughs> And he, I mean, you know, we we managed somehow after the end of like our last record after these two weeks, that we we really do get into the weeds with the solos because it is yeah. very heady. But once they're written and we've got them written out, like you know, the muscle memory kicks in and mm. and it is there. But a lot of that that real heady stuff of actually, um, because sometimes it, like you know, you play this linear thing, which would often is the part that I play. Mm. Like sort of in some some solos, it's like the the part that is sort of well not easiest but like it's it's more linear like yep. it doesn't jump around too much mm. but then dan's part will be like really weird because he's like got to keep in the, the key and with the yeah. harmony stuff so a lot of um the magic of it is 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 what dan brings to it you know mm. and, and dan actually do, do you reckon like he does a lot of that heady yeah. work of making the third uh, the third like weird part mm. that that works with the other two you know yeah you can kind of go to him what what kind of part should go here? And he'll play something, and he'll be like, "Oh my god, that is the most perfect thing I've ever heard." Yeah, <laughs> he's amazing. Yeah. Like he's he he does all the production on the records as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he does. He does all my. He's done. I've got singles and stuff as well that he. I, you know, I'm like a solo act as well. Hey, just spruiking my yeah, own shit. As anyway, you should. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I put a single out uh, a couple of weeks ago. You yeah. can listen to it on Spotify. Paul What's Mason on Spotify. Paul Mason. Anyway, Brilliant. Get get my 76 monthly listeners. You know. Yeah. Anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Keen I appreciate. To hear it. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so, what's next for Battlesnake? Well, right coming up next, actually, next is next Friday. This Friday, we got a new single coming out. What? The Key of Solomon. Okay. So. It's, it's a lot of the guys' favorite song off the album as well, yeah. and it features a crazy Dan Willington solo. Like, right? it's cra- probably the craziest one he's done. I reckon. Yeah, probably. It's sick. Shit. It's it's amazing. Yeah. We play it tonight. We yes. did, yeah. yeah. Amazing. And then after that, we are off to Europe. Crazy. Yeah. So Doing the great first escape. Time, first time over in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Playing the Great Escape and like Bearded Theory and a bunch of other shows. So it's going to be really yeah. exciting. And then we've got an album coming out. Yeah. So yeah. a lot coming up in the yeah. land of the Battlesnake. Ri- the rise right and now. demise of the Motor Steeple. Uh, comes out and we're touring that album as well. We're doing a, another Australian tour of that album. I feel like we were just touring. Yeah. But we're touring more and again. So yeah. Keep an eye on the on the Instagram. Follow <laughs> follow at Battlesnake Band <laughs> and um, grab grab some merch. <laughs> grab all the merch. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys played the Stag and Hunter Hotel on your last tour. How was that? Did it was great. It was completely packed out, um, and it was sold out, line out the door. And I think that's the first time we've ever seen that. And I was like pretty blown away. It was like, whoa, these people are here to see us. That's, that's freaking crazy, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was. It was awesome. a, a lot of those people saw us with the Smashing Pumpkins, I think. From, yeah. Cause the, oh yeah. Because when we played in Newcastle, the last time we were in Newcastle, we didn't have we had like nowhere near that many people. But I think because we we're, we're really lucky to get on that that run and that was Amel too right with Amel yeah 
What a what a yeah. bloody lineup. Yeah. Wow. Insane. Yeah, well I can't wait to see Battlesnake go to world domination. That's the idea. Happening Hell yeah. ASAP. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. It's thank been you, awesome Bonnie. to chat. You're a legend. No, thanks thank for you having so much. Us. How are you? Hell yeah.